Can you get your ice cream down in the lake? This is season four of Look Who's Traveling. Today we're going to Santa Clarita. But first we're going to visit Aqua Dosa. We are at Vasquez Rocks. We're checking out the Interpretive Center. This is where you can learn information about the area. That sure is a hairy spider. Watch out for the rattlesnakes. Rattlesnakes. Many movies were shot here at Vasquez Rock. Now we're going hiking. This is a 932 acre park known for its distinct rock formation. The rock's history began in prehistoric times when the sandstone rocks were uplifted at a picturesque angle showing their jagged red features. This looks like the planet Mars. We had so much fun at Vasquez Rocks. You can get more information at parks.lacounty.gov. We've made our way to Santa Clarita. We are at Gibbon Conservation Center. Founded in 1976, the center houses the rarest group of apes in the Western Hemisphere. There are five species of gibbons here. I am disinfecting my shoes before I enter. Gibbons are native to the dwindling rainforests of Southeast, South, and East Asia. Here comes a mommy gibbon with her baby. And then the gibbon started singing. <coughs> <coughs> often referred to as the songbirds of the primate family. A gibbon marks its territory by singing when traveling within the borders of where they live. <laughs> and now it's feeding time. Right now they're having some catching. Nice catch, Gibby. In the wild, gibbons eat fruit, young leaves, flowers, bird eggs, insects, and birds. Mr. Abe, you forgot about the three-second rule. The mother is not giving the food to the baby because he is too young. Gibbons are the only non-human primate that primarily walks on two legs. We had so much fun at the Gibbon Conservation Center. You can learn more about the apes at www.gibbonsetter.org. We are at Passages. This is a 30,000 square foot interactive exhibit presented by the Museum of the Bible that chronicles the remarkable history of the Holy Scripture. Around 400 priceless artifacts are used to tell the stories at Passages. I'm going on a self-guided tour and I get a stamp in my passport for every section I visit. First, we're in Transmissionville. This section refers to the ways in which ideas are spread by using a written form. Now I'm going to make my own block book. assistant at Gutenberg's print shop. to dig in the dirt and end up on the moon. And here is a complete copy of the Bible that was carried by astronaut Edgar Mitchell on Apollo 14. Now we're in translation land, and this is Jerome's cave. This is where he spent over 30 years translating the Bible into Latin from the original Hebrew and Greek text. 
There are many medieval manuscripts here on display. There's even a Chinese Bible here, and I'm getting another stamp in my passport. Now we're going to the wild world of the Bible. This is the children's room packed with fun kid-friendly activities. A great time at Passages. Please visit www.explorepassages.com to learn more. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more videos. Also like and share this video with your friends.